Welcome to Fair Woodcraft. My name is Joe. Thank you very much for being here today. I've got a pretty cool budget solar panel to show off to you today. It does fold down to pretty pretty small footprint. Now I want to share real quick my philosophy on uh, power options as far as survival kits, daily life, that sort of thing. Pretty much in every kit that I carry, every kit that I use. Um, if it's a comprehensive kit, as in you know something I can put on my back, um, I do keep a solar panel in it as kind of like a third string or third tier backup plan. I do carry backup batteries for most of my devices. I do carry backup battery banks to recharge my devices as well. But I do also keep solar panels handy. It's just one of the, one of those things that it's. I look at it as it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Um, I look at communication through cell phones, uh, shortwave handheld radios that sort of thing to be very important whether it be just to keep in touch with a wife or uh, keep in touch with work call the authorities you know whether i'm out bushcrafting and i hurt myself you know i i want to keep my devices charged even even more so something that's probably a bit more relevant to everybody out there you know i have four kids you know we're out in the woods we're out hiking backpacking whatnot you know my two-year-old he has a very short attention span and so sometimes we need his little handheld games to keep him occupied so the rest of our family can do whatever it is we need to do without uh, a bunch of tantrums in the background. So, you know, having an op a backup backup option to keep devices charged, keep him entertained and other stuff is a very handy thing to have. So without too much more rambling, let's talk about this EC 21 watt solar panel. As you can see, it does have three different panels. It does have a pouch over here so you can store some charging cables and stuff like that. It does also have the charging ports in here. I'll show you more about those here in just a second. Um, each of these panels is about four and a half inches wide. So stretched out, you're looking at around 16 inches. This is about a foot tall, a little bit more, something like that. It does come with one charging cable. I don't remember which one of these you get, but these are basically the exact same cable, just different manufacturers. I've keep two charging cables in there because there's two ports. So you guys a close up of the charging port here. You do have two charging ports, both of which will handle 2.4 amps, but unfortunately it will not handle 2.4 amps simultaneously. It will just charge 2.4 amps total. There's a little LED, I don't know if that's showing up on film or not, but there's a little LED right there. It shines red when it's receiving power, and that's it. That is really simple. It's red if it's getting power from the sun, it's off if it's not getting anything. You guys have seen this in a couple different videos. It, it does work and it works really well. The charger that came with my phone is a 2.4 amp charger. It plugs into a regular AC outlet, and this does have about the same charging cycle on my phone as that AC plug, if, if this is in full sun. You do have four eyelets here so you can configure this just about any way you want you can tie it up however you want you can clip it to your pack you can uh, set it up just to uh, string it string it up on some paracord between two trees and like i've showed you guys in another video you can actually create a stand out of some saplings to create your own little solar panel setup the price point on the solar panel is a 40 to 45 dollars it changes on amazon link will be below but it is what i would consider to be a budget friendly uh, solar panel solar panels aren't cheap but this is probably one of the cheapest ones that I have seen in this power range. To be honest, on this EC brand, when uh, EC first approached me about reviewing this, I was hesitant only because I had never heard of EC before. And I'm one of those guys, if a piece of electronics does not have a name brand attached to it, I'm pretty skeptical. So I took the time to, to test this out for about two months and it has worked fantastically. Another thing I wanna point out here really quick, this pocket, it is pretty tight, but you can make it work. If you arrange it just so, you can fit some charging cables in there. If you want to get whatever you're charging out of the sun, as long as it's smaller than my cell phone, it will fit. Um, you will want to have this pointed up so it doesn't fall out. But uh, this, this pocket does is pretty handy. It is water resistant, I believe, to help keep your devices out of the sun. Because as we all know, the sun will overheat your cell phone. As part of this demonstration, I want to show you exactly what this thing can drive. I'm out near the road right now just because that's the only sunny spot that I have. My yard's full of trees, so there's only about two hours a day that I get full sun in my yard, and that's about eight hours away. Anyway, let's go ahead and get this recording here. As you can see, audio still, still synced. synced. Let's, let's walk, walk around, around here. here. Here's a power cable. Leading right down into here. There we go. You guys can see the power light is on. Let's go ahead and demonstrate something here. Well, I cannot, I can't pull the battery off this thing without taking it off the tripod. But let's see if this works. Pull the power cable out. As you can see, it is now off a of battery. If you can see in the upper right hand side of that screen. Now let's go ahead and pull the 
put the power back in. As you can see, came back. Well, folks, as you can see, it does what they say it does. Um, like I said, I have been using this for onwards about two months, and it has come through with everything that I've put it through. As I may or may not have mentioned thus far, it has been rained on on two different occasions. It wasn't absolutely a downpour, but it, was, it did get pretty thoroughly wet, and it did survive. I don't think this is designed to get uh, wet per se, but yet it did survive. I wouldn't recommend doing it on purpose, but uh, I was kind of neglectful there. But anyway, regardless, for the price point of around $40, $45, this is a good deal my opinion it brings it more down into the budget range which i really do like um, which also allows for a more layering you can uh, buy more put them in more kits uh, you don't have a lot of money tied up into each individual kit so it's just it adds a lot to the table in my opinion anyway folks thank you very much for being here today i do appreciate your time if you enjoyed this video do me a favor give me a thumbs up i would appreciate it if you haven't done so yet there's a subscribe button right down around here somewhere make use of that if you enjoy videos like this and as always guys hit up that comment section let's talk about this let me know of other options out there let me know how you layer your backup power options we learn a lot from each other in talking about how we how we plan our gear how we how we flesh out our gear anyway thanks again for being here and i will see you guys guys next time. I hope you have a great day.